Hi guys, I'm down in Asia again. I've just been running the Cambodia workshop with my partner Simon Taplin. Whilst here we did a bit of wrecking along the Vietnam-Chinese border in some astonishing locations which people just don't get to see and we're hoping to have bring that online next year, so watch this space. But whilst in Asia I wanted to come down to the Philippines and meet up with my awesome PA, Melissa Fox, and introduce her to you guys. Her photography is awesome and she's got a pretty interesting story as to how she learned her photography. So, hello Melissa. Hi Mike. Hello. And this is the first time we've met in reality. Yes. We've been working three years. Yes, or more, yeah. Or more. <laughs> and it's all been via Skype and the internet and yes. Melissa's role has grown and grown. But why don't you tell the guys how we met in the first place? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was doing photography and studying photography and I was watching Mike's video most of the time, all the time actually. So I just came to a point that, you know, I want to give thanks to him and send him a message on Facebook telling him, you know what, thank you for all of your awesome photography and awesome tutorials. And that's how we started. Thank you. And it kind of grew on from there really because we kind of conversed a bit about photography. She sent me some pictures and, and etc. And then one day, um, I remember you sent me a message saying, I don't want to interfere, mm -hmm. but I noticed a lot of the questions that are asked about your tutorials on the Facebook page, mm -hmm. you said, I know the answer, do you mind if I step in? Yes. And I thought that was really quite sweet. Yes, absolutely. It, it was, again, because of you, um, all the knowledge, all the things and the things that you've uh, put into your videos, that's what I always apply to those questions. So I think that's how it started now mm. that I'm working with you because there's a lot of people who ask uh, questions and most of the time you're not there. So why not answer it for you? It's very kind of you. And so that's how Melissa started to become involved with our Facebook page. Uh, the person who used to help me at that time then left and we had a unanimous decision. Who should we ask? <laughs> we both just said, Melissa. And you post some awesome posts on there. You post some really beautiful, warm, human stories. You really have shared of your own experience. What leads you to do that? I, I, I guess it's because, you know, every a photographer has a journey. And, yeah, I just wanted to basically share what I've had before. And, you know, who knows, maybe some people can relate to it. I think a lot of people relate to it because when you've posted things on uh, the Facebook page where somebody said, I really lack in confidence, that was one I remember. And you wrote yeah. this brilliant post about how your work had been completely slammed online and someone said, yeah. Melissa Fox's pictures are dreadful and she doesn't mm -hmm. know what she's doing. And it's about how you rise above that. Mm -hmm. And it was, I thought that was an awesome post and you continue to do it. Absolutely. I just believe that, you know, you can't be stopped by anyone telling you what to do. You know, you have a passion, you have a love for, for photography, just go for it and, you know, you don't have to really, really think about what, we, what people, what other people will think about your photography. As long as you love it, go for it. Absolutely. And this is why we work together. I think that was pretty obvious. This is a common ethos that runs mm -hmm. through both of us. It's about the person behind the camera. It's not about the camera. It's you guys who take the pictures. Now, besides looking after the Facebook page, Melissa started helping me keep up with all the wonderful comments that you guys post on YouTube. There are so many of you now, and I'm totally blown away by that. But also, what you don't see is behind the scenes. Melissa does masses of work to keep the website running smoothly, making sure that it's always easy to find on, on uh, uh, Google, etc., making sure all the links work. It's a lot of stuff that Melissa does behind the scenes. She also looks after my emails and says, Brown, answer that. Keeping you, him in line. Yeah, you do have to do that <laughs> from time to time. I really have to. So what's your kind of photography? What is it that you're into shooting? I am in, into portrait photography, wedding photography, and my own weird stuff, which is the uh, surreal portraits. I think those are amazing. Thank you. It's yeah. something which I've never sort of done. It's a completely unique look that seems to be to you. There's lots of mm -hmm. power and action and moody drama going on yes. in there. My attack would be the emotion. So for me, I think it's more of an emotional images versus... Plus, emotional and artistic images at the same time. So that's why I created this, you know, surreal portraits that I've been doing in the past as well. But also, um, when it comes to business part, you know, I, I do the wedding photography because you know, it, it, I get money from it. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely area of photography. It's great fun, isn't it? It was stressful, fun, challenging, all of it. 
it's all of those things. It's also a privilege to be part of a, of a milestone event in somebody's yes. life, isn't it? And shoot mm -hmm. the pictures. And, it, and it's high-pressure shooting, too, yes. weddings. People think it's easy and cheesy, and mm -hmm. it isn't. Very challenging. Absolutely. So where do you think, where did you evolve from with your photography? What, what was your beginning point? What was your first thought that said, I want to do photography? Since I was a kid, I was doing photography, but, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. But um, when my mother passed away and then she left me a camera and I didn't know what to do with it, I had, have no idea what I controlled and stuff. I've watched YouTube, i watched your channel, I've seen most of your videos and stuff, and that's how we started, you know. Basically, you helped me dissect the biology and, you know, technicology, whatever, one, you know, the terms is. You were the one who inspired me to go back to that um, um, love for photography. Seeing some of, like, Melissa's early work to the stuff you're producing now, like the surreal portraiture, mm -hmm. it's, it's... This is why I do what I do, because it's such a privilege to know that I'm helping people like Melissa mm -hmm. and others. And now it's really great that Melissa and I are working together. And also, by the way, Melissa and I working together, that is the team. I know it looks like there's a huge team there, yeah. but please believe me, the whole thing is run by Melissa and myself. And occasionally we have guest camera people come on to help out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to do it on my own, whatever. But uh, we are the team, and uh, certainly thank you to all of you guys that we're able to do what we're doing. And I've had the opportunity to come and run workshops in Asia and have a brilliant PA like Melissa. And she does rule me. Yes. Well, I think we both inspire each other in, in some point. Yeah, we do. But Melissa does, Brown, answer this, go and do that, check this out. And without her, I would probably miss a lot of things. But really, I just wanted to introduce you guys to Melissa. I wanted yes. you to see some of her photography. Melissa knows her way around my training products probably better than I do in many ways because there are so many YouTube videos, but Melissa has watched and studied all yes. of them. So she really can help and look after you guys when I'm not available. And I apologize that I'm not available all the time because I would love to be able to interact with every last one of you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I also wanted to um, tell everyone that I'm, I'm so honored every time that you will ask me questions or ask him a question. And please do allow me to answer those questions because Sometimes he's not really around and, and yeah, I would love to help. It's an honor for me to be a part of this entire business that you're running. It's great having you on board because you do so much which so many people don't see. So guys, if you want to check out some more of Melissa's photography, find out more about Melissa, it's in the text below this video. Um, go check out her blog, check out her website. You can really see what an awesome photographer she is. And also a very warm and brilliant human being. She really does care. Well, thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we upload one of our cool photography videos or for more great photo tips, workshops and training, come and see us at our website, photographycourses.biz.